Edmonton, Eskimos quarterback Mike Riley wasn't about to let another close game slip away against Toronto. Riley completed a pair of touchdown passes as Edmonton avenged a loss in Toronto last week, coming away with a narrow 16-15 victory over the Argonauts in the rainy rematch late Friday night. Edmonton's Kenny Stafford while Argonauts defensive back Jermaine Gabriel limits the damage in Friday night's game at Commonwealth Stadium, Jason Franson, the Canadian press, Riley was good on 21 of 36 pass attempts for 258 yards and the Eskimos improved to 3-2, I wouldn't have cared if we won 100-99 or 1-0. We needed to get a win to get back on track, Riley said. Last week we could have came away with the win, but they did enough to get the win, and this week we were the team that finished it. It wasn't all good news for the Eskimos, though, as running back CJ. Gable was knocked out by a late helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit late in the fourth quarter. Argos defensive lineman Dylan Wynn was handed a spearing penalty on the play that moved Edmonton downfield and allowed it to eventually run out the clock. On Sunday, the CFL suspended Wynn one game for the hit. Article continued below, I'm just thankful CJ's okay, Eskimos head coach Jason Moss said post-game. Once I saw his eyes open and he could kind of move around a little bit, it was a good feeling to see that, he took a hard hit and we are all hoping that he will come out of it okay, said Toronto head coach Mark Trestman. It was good to see him get back on his feet, Toronto QB James Franklin finished 26 for 36, racking up 296 yards with one interception, we had opportunities to win and our guys are really disappointed, Trestman said. We didn't make the plays when we needed to, but we had the opportunities to hold a great, experienced defense to under 20 points two weeks in a row, that says a lot, after Riley was picked off in the end zone by TJ. Heath on the opening drive, Toronto responded with a 42-yard field goal by Ronnie Pfeffer. Franklin returned the favor early in the second, throwing an interception on a third-down gamble to Chris Edwards on the Edmonton 8-yard line. Edmonton finally got on the board with four minutes to play in the second quarter when Riley completed a short pass to Jordan Robinson, who then turned on the Jets and ran 30 yards for the touchdown. The Eskimos added a punt single to lead 8-3 before halftime, when rapper Ludacris performed at Commonwealth Stadium. Article continued below Toronto got a single off a missed Pfeffer field goal attempt from 30 yards out, 6 minutes into the third quarter. Edmonton extended its lead to 15-4 with 3 minutes left in the third when Riley completed an 11-yard TD pass to Duke Williams. The Argonauts, now 1-3, closed the gap on the final play of the third with a 3-yard TD run by James Wilder Jr., plus Franklin adding a 2-point convert pass to SJ. Green to trail by three points. The ESKs added another punt single, the eventual winning margin, before Pfeffer rounded out the scoring with a 28-yard field goal that went off the uprights and in, we talked about it all week, just finish. Moss said, no matter how it starts, no matter what goes on in between, just finish the game. And it was awesome to do that at the end of the game, to finish it out on offense, newly acquired Toronto defensive lineman Eric Stryker dressed for the first time following his trade from Saskatchewan. The Argos return home to face Winnipeg next Saturday, while the Eskimos enter a bye week.